Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome co-founder and CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang. The GeForce RTX 20 series, computer graphics reinvented. Isn't that beautiful? The craftsmanship is unbelievable. The craftsmanship is unbelievable. This is the best design we have ever done. Everything from the voltage, the power regulation, and the thermal management system, it is designed for overclocking. Crazy amounts of overclocking. Not to mention, it is just so quiet. Even when you're maximum overclocked. At maximum overclock, at maximum overclock, it sounds like one-fifth the audio levels as a 1080 Ti. It is so quiet. The engineering is just absolutely incredible. We have, we're announcing, we're announcing three models today. We're announcing three models today. The RTX 2070 with six giga rays per second, five times that of a Titan X. Five times that of a Titan XP. 45 trillion RTX ops per second. 45 trillion RTX ops per second. That is several times the performance of a Titan X. Eight gigabyte frame buffer. RTX 2080, eight giga rays per second. 60 trillion RTX ops. About six times the performance of a Titan X for ray tracing. Eight gigabytes. And then the RTX 2080 Ti, 10 giga rays. I love giga rays. <laughs> 10 giga rays. Shoot as many rays as you like. Go crazy. Just shoot rays. 78 trillion RTX ops, 11 gigabyte frame buffer. Starting at 499. Starting at four ninety nine. Pre orders today. <laughs> On shelf everywhere, September twentieth. And here is your NVIDIA RTX family. The NVIDIA RTX family. The NVIDIA RTX family. The NVIDIA RTX family. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, soon I'm going to see the NVIDIA RTX family. <laughs> the NVIDIA RTX family. Quadro 8000. Quadro RTX 8000, two GPUs connected by NVLink, turning it into one large virtual GPU. 96 gigabyte frame buffer, 166 trillion RTX operations. 166, 166. That is basically 16 Titan Xs in, in, in one PC. $20,000. $20,000. Now just imagine, that is twice the ray tracing performance of a $68,000 DGX station. Twice the performance of a $68,000 supercomputer. Then you have the GeForce RTX family. The 2080 Ti from $999. The 2080 from $699, and the 2070 from $499, and the 2070 is higher performance than the $1,200 Titan XP. <laughs> 
Look at it this way. I want you to look at it this way. Look at this. This is what they look like. The biggest generational leap in the history of computer graphics. Our beloved Pascal, the best GPU the world had ever seen. Next to the Turing family, it is a shocking contrast. Ten years in the making. So, ladies and gentlemen, the RTX family, so proud of it. Well, that's our show. The GeForce RTX, GeForce RTX, the first to implement the NVIDIA RTX platform. Reinventing computer graphics using this hybrid rendering mode of rasterization and ray tracing, compute using CUDA and artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence that was trained using supercomputers. And all of those neurons and all of those weights from all of that experience then sits inside your PC and it generates images that no possible software written by humans could do. And it generates beautiful images. The Turing, the largest generational leap in the history of our company. The most important new GPU we've created in 10 years since CUDA. 78 Terra RTX Ops. 78 trillion Ops. Basically changing things so dramatically, we have to change the way that we talk about performance. Because in the future, you're going to ray trace parts of the image, you're going to rasterize parts of the image, you're going to use post-processing on some of the image, and you're going to use artificial intelligence to generate all kinds of pixels that are impossible to generate otherwise. And the GeForce 20, the GeForce RTX 20 series, starting at $499, available everywhere on September 20th. What do you guys think? Okay, I have one, one more surprise for you. The guys, the guys did something. Uh, well, everything is real time. It's physically based. All the materials are modeled properly. Reflections just work. Inner reflections just work. The lighting just works. Ambient occlusion just works. Area lights just works. Have I told you that before? Lighting, reflections, shadows, it just works. Everything could be dynamic, no cooking necessary, no art necessary. Just turn on the lights. Enormous amount of computer graphics capability then kicks in and draws the rest of it. Everything you see here is all completely in real time. Ladies and gentlemen, have a great Gamescom. It's been a pleasure being with you. This is a historic moment. Computer graphics has been reinvented. Thank you very much. It comes up with a model like this. And this is 4K TAA. You guys know the Unreal Engine Epic's uh, demo called Infiltrator. It's just beautiful. Um, incredibly taxing on systems. And 4X, 4K TAA up there. TAA is the anti-aliasing uh, technology we invented, which is temp temporal, and so temporal, it takes uh, last last um, uh, last frame the motion vectors, and it fig tries to figure out what's the best combination to create beautiful edges. Look at that, because it's temporal and the motion vectors, so many things are moving. You see a disjointed disjointed hinge over here, and this is 4K DLSS. Look at this. That's just perfect. Okay. Well, for the very first time, because of this, because we could take a lower resolution image, and because we could train a neural network with all kinds of super high resolution and super high quality images, this neural network, if runs on a bad out of hell processor called a tensor core, could then in real time enhance images. In real time, generate pixels it had never seen before.